Hey everyone, this is Blazer Zero. I'm calling you with a future card blade fight deck profile on the on the Sun Dragons. So, so this is the flag for Dragon World. And this is the button I'm using for the deck. Dragon of the Sun Bow Dragon. There you go. That's how you can see the name of it. So in this deck I run Oh wait, I don't have anything in I wanted it. But I can fix that out. So I run four copies of the original Sun Dragon Bell Dragon for the buddy. Then I have three what the f then I have three copies of Sun DD Fragments Bell Dragon. So whenever he enters a field, you can pay a life and search for a Sun Dragon. Right? Uh, oh no, it says, no, my bad. Not Sun Dragon, it's Basolet. So you can search for the size 3 one, or you can search for the impact version. That's for that. Now I'm also running one of Style of Impact Bow Dragon. This card cost is only pay one life. And you can choose uh, the following. You can uh, when he enters, put that card from the deck to gauge, or put an item uh, Sun Dragon item from your from your deck into your hand and shuffle it. So yeah, that's him. And then I have a uh, Shining Sun Dragon Bow Dragon. I just like this using this because. During the final phase, you can just put top, put a top card on my deck into the gauge. That way, I can have I can pay the pay for the gauge easier. And then I'm running one in the instant sun DD bow. Yeah, he just pays one gauge and has soul guard for him. So put top card on the deck into his soul. But anyways, uh, when he enters, you can. Put it to sun, to sun dragon, so you will have uh, an important item that you that you want to put in, like a dragon force, or you want to put another size three, uh, one of your size three from the deck from the draws onto your deck again. You can do that, and then your life becomes six. So you're like, if you're like at one life, you become your life initially becomes six again, six. So you can use the dragon force styles. So yeah, that's why I run one. And then for the size ones, oh wait no, for the size two impacts I have Bell Saucer, Bell Dragon, Bell, Bell Saucer Overrush. So I put Sun Dragon from, via, from the field to the draw and pay two gauge standard for some just sun, for some of the Sun Dragon impacts. And you if you can pay one. Uh, if you have a Sun Dragon item equipped, pay one gauge to stand this and attack. So if you have enough gauge, you can constantly attack with him, because he only deals one damage. So I feel that's uh, very that's very good to to have this just to just to pay one gauge and attack and attack and attack again as long as you have a Sun item equipped. And then I'm also having a uh, Bell Dragon Bell Force regeneration. Put on top of a Sun Dragon and pay to gauge. You can equip onto one uh, Sun Dragon item from your deck without paying its call cost, so you can essentially equip the Dragon Force with this. As long as you have the release. And. Oh, you can also dur attack during the final phase and it gets a critical plus one. And when in this attack, you gain three lives. So, like I said before. Uh. So if you summon this, if you call this out, your life becomes 6, so put this on top of this, attack, and then your life, you gain 3 life, so your life becomes 9. So yeah, that's good for this. That's good for that sometimes. Because there, there isn't much shield uh, defense card that I added into this deck. Until size ones, I'm running uh, two two loyal dragon fair flame, uh, fair.
Lair Fang Dragon. So Sunshine is Gauge and Draw Power, which you would need for this deck to be honest. Because most, most of the time you're going to be paying lots of gauge, lots of gauge to call out some of like the cards or equip them. And then I'm also running four of the Flare, Flare Fang Dragon. So when he enter, enters the field, if you have a Sun a sun Dragon on the field, doesn't have to be monster, it can also be item. Charge your gauge by one, draw, charge and, charge your gauge and draw a card. That's what he does. On to the size three. I'm running three of Transcendence, Transcendence Sun Dragon Basile Future. So yeah, he reduces your damage when so when, you, when he attacks, you can nullify the your opponent's center monster's ability. So they have Soul Guard, you can nullify that. And he has triple attack. Also, or you can pay three gauge and put up to one or more Sun Dragons on your field into this card's soul. So yep, so you can have like a huge defense. And if he has cards in his soul, he gains four thousand. 4,000 attack and, th and defense. I'm also running uh, one Super Sun Dragon Basile. I, I would rather much run a uh, four copy of Transcendent Sun just because he reduces damage by two and he only reduces damage by one. But because of that, he gains a critical, uh, one critical because of that. Oh yeah, and when he, you can choose a monster to, on the, when you put center, pay a gauge and destroy it. So that works as well too. And the impact that I run for the size 3 is, best to lay the end of bell break. So you have a Sun Dragon item equipped, you can attack with this, and it's and you deal your opponent fight damage. So that's fun. On to the size zeros. I'm running one uh one copy of Fire Fang Dragon SD. So essentially it's just uh draw power. So this guy is just draw power because he can't he can't be called a center. And if your opponent has no center in the field, this game's three thousand power. And if you if one of your monsters throw your opponent center, draw a card. So yay! I'm running a uh, three Basile Imagine. So when this card when this card and at the battle, when, ugh, I can't speak. So after this card battles, you can put this in the of another Sun Dragon. So what I like to do is combine, do this. Not two, my bad. Is to call him as well as the Transcendent Bow Future. So when he when he finished battling, put him to the soul, and then he attacks. And then this card's ability to go off once, once in the soul of that. Uh, ch you can charge your, gain, your gauge by one and you gain one life. So it's gauge and life power. I'm also running three uh, Mirror Blade Dragon SD. So just like uh, Flare Fang SD, when your opponent's when monster a monster you punch is destroyed, put that card in your gauge, gauge and you gain one life. So it's just like fair thing as D, but you don't you don't draw a card nor do you charge your gauge. But you, oh no, you do draw a card from this, but you don't you don't charge your gauge and you don't gain a life. So that's why I run through that. Onto the spells. Running one copy of Loud Voice, so I can discard your, your hand cards and decrease the critical and power of your opponents. No, you can decrease the 
Pyro offends your opponent by 3,000 for each card you discard it and a critical for each of it. So, and that's the call cost for this. The, the cast, not the call. The cast cost is discard any amount of cards. So, that's one of the counter spells for this. Then, I'm also running uh, four Sun Dragon Shield. So, and essentially, if you have a Sun Dragon on the field, you can cast this nullify an attack, gain a life, and charge a gauge. But if you have two or more Sun Dragons on the field, your this card cannot be nullified. But you have to, and you have to have no monsters in your center for this for this for you to activate this spell. Then I'm also running a uh, one Super Dragon Shield. So it essentially is like a uh, Sun Dragon Shield where you nullify. You charge your gauge and you gain one life. Wait, is do you gain, gain a life? My bad. Yeah, you. So yeah, you gain a life as well. Um. Yeah, but this for this you have to it have, you have to have on the field a neo dragon to put to charge your gauge and a black dragon to gain a life. So since you're playing, um, where they at? I just had them here. Where'd they go? Okay. So essentially, if you have a train in uh, Basile Future or Basile, you're essentially getting all of those effects off because since they're both they're treated as. Sun Dragon, Neo Dragon, and Black Dragon. Let me see if you can get closer to the camera so you can see that. They're both redeemed as those those attributes. So, yep. So, you won't be taking any damage from that. Then, I'm also running uh, one Bow Buster. So this is another defensive card, but this you can use. But the only thing that, that of this is that you pay a gauge, but you also pay a life. But the, the upside of, this, of that is you can destroy a center monster in a field. But if, if you have a monster with Basile in its name, such as the Basile Future or Basile, you can deal damage to your opponent. Oh no. No, you can store another card in your opponent's field. That was damage, my bad. And I'm running a uh, Bess's Bow Bow. You can use you can cast this during your final phase. Charge your gauge by two. And then you can call impact monster from your hand by paying its call cost. And essentially in Buddy Fight, impact monsters can only be called once a turn during the final phase. But there's cards that can Bypass that, such as this. Yep. And then I have Warlord's uh, Dragon Shun. I have this to boost up the defensive cards in this deck. Although, maybe for. Yeah. Since I there's no overturn cards in this deck, which is what would be this. Because. Then if you did use any overturn or overthrow, you any attack you take, any damage you take during that turn you activated this, it's, re it's reduced to one. And then I had, I'm running one um, Warlord Sword Release. Pay one gauge and pay two life. And draw equal number of cards of different worlds on the field. So again, Basile, Sun Drag, uh, Dragon World, Star Dragon World, and Darkness Dragon World. You can draw three cards from that. But you can only use it once a turn, so that's why I run one copy, and I only have the one. On to the items. I'm running uh, three copies of Bound, Sunfist Bound Knuckle. Equip the, to equip this is just to pay one gauge. And whenever a Bound uh, Dragon attacks, 
during the battle or during the final phase, it, it boosts its critical up by one. And then I'm also running uh, two Sun Fist Bell Guard, pay light, pay a gauge. Uh, can I be destroyed by your opponent's card effects? And counter. So if your opponent was trying to destroy one of your Sun Dragons, ones that would go for your combos, you can destroy this instead and that Sun Dragon, that card you chose would remain on the field. Oh no, you pay a, no I forgot, you can, you have to destroy this and pay a life. And then we're not running one copy of each Dragon Force that I have. Dragon Force style of the Super Sun, style of the Straight Fist, style of Impact, and Dragon Force. So each of this you must have, uh, a card of Bao or Bao in its name, except for Sun Force, you might you need a, a size three. But for the rest of this, you just need you either need a Bao Dragon or Bao for a, for impact for style of impact. So uh, this card, if this card links attack with another Sun Dragon, we stand it and attack again. So so technically it has double attack, but only it only has link it can only send again if you re-attack it with another sun dragon. Just restand and then go for another one. It cannot be destroyed or returned to the hand cards. It can also attack during the final phase, so it's like basically like a triple attack right there. Same thing with um style of impact. This can attack during the uh during the final phase as well. And it gets plus one critical. And equipment causes pay to pay two gauge. And also cannot be returned to the hand cards. Then style of the straight fist. Uh, this card, yeah, you basically destroy your, you nuke your opponent's field and then deal them damage for that. And then you draw eight cards to the cards you destroyed. And then super force. It has double attack and can attack during the final phase. Oh, and then you can also call another in, uh, impact monster from your hand or drop someone by paying its call cost. So, yep. And I'm also running a uh, inheritable sunshine, sunshine impact. It is equipment the equipment costs to pay to gauge. Put this card. Oh, my bad. So this cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effect, and, you're, and if you already uh, buddy call your monster, it gains penetrate and its power becomes infinite. It also has double attack. So yep, that's the deck profile for my sun dragons. I hope you all enjoy this, and I'll see you all in the next one. Oh yeah, the reason I forgot to upload this yesterday, it was because it was Father's Day. I was helping around the house with that. So I hope you all had a good Father's Day and stay safe. Signing out.